Walt, you've been here for two years, uh, responsible for training in Europe. Uh, you've been our deputy commander. You've seen everything there is about the Army in Europe. What, what does Europe offer in terms of leader development opportunities, training, uh, and helping our great alliance? Well, sir, I think U.S. Army Europe is more relevant today than I think we've ever been. I think the, the challenges we face today are a result of our success since we've been here. And it, it offers a great opportunity now to come and train, live, and work with our allies. I think the number one lesson I've learned since being here is that, uh, that nations don't have relationships, people do. And here in U.S. Army Europe, you get to work side by side every single day with some of the best armies and, and within the greatest alliance on the forum. You know, when you were the commander at uh, Grafenwehr for the Joint Multinational Training Center, uh, I watched you change the culture and the attitude there so that uh, that great training center became NATO ready. What are the kind of things that you had to do to make the best training center on the continent ready for helping our alliance? I think first we just had to understand we don't, we don't know what the future holds. It, as, as we've been told, it's unknown and unknowable, but we do know we won't do it alone, that we're going to do it with our allies. And if we're going to fight and deploy together, then we need to train, live, and work together. And that's what really we started with. And what we found is that our allies, we were all in the same situation. They were coming out of a, a long war. Our, our nations are cutting our budgets. And it would have been easy to just to go home and, and defend yourself or defend the budget cuts in your own nation. But what we found is we really have probably the most experienced force within the alliance than we've ever had. And it was easy to, to come together. And by doing so, we actually create, I think, a, a much more well-trained and professional force than we've ever had. Uh, the Army's operating concept, um, when in a complex world, uh, obviously uh, depends on adaptive leaders. That's it's clear that that's at the core of the Army operating concept. Uh, what does serving in Europe offer in terms of leader development opportunities? Uh, yes, sir. I, well, I think the Chief of Staff of the Army said it best when he said, if you want to know what the future looks like, go, to, go see U.S. Army Europe, because we're facing it every day. Multiple dilemmas from uh, hybrid threats and then different adversaries are challenging us every day. So if you want to be prepared for the future, You've got, to, you've got to train with your allies against this type of future threat. And, that, and that's what we offer here. Not, not just at Grafenbeer and Hohenfels, which is really the, the crown jewel of training areas, but also within the Eastern European countries and Operation Atlantic Resolve, we're training side by side to, to build that assurance that creates the deterrence against any adversary that is thinking about taking on the alliance. Sure, going to miss you, man. <laughs> Thank you, sir.